Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we're going to take a look at the new High Marshal Helbrecht. He's got a new model. He's here in Primaris form. Of course he is. All the major characters are. And, of course, he is the High Marshal who leads his crusade from the front, because if there's one thing that Warhammer 40k, and especially the Space Marines, are lacking, it's warrior leaders. Lads who are not just in charge, but also fight in the front lines. You just don't get that many of them. That was maybe a bit too sarcastic for the first 30 seconds of the video, but whatever. Let us have a look at this furious, zealous lad. So we've already seen the Emperor's Champion and the Black Templar's army set. I'll put links to uh, those videos in the description down below if we haven't seen them already. And now we have the man himself. I have to admit, quite a few comments yesterday for the Black Templar's army box were like, Okay, generic marshal's fine, but where's the man himself? Where's the big lad? Well, I mean, we knew it was coming, surely. Did we have any doubt, really, that there wouldn't be a Primaris version of Hellwrecked? Because, I don't know, I just assumed there would be. Now, I've, uh, I've I've done a little bit of extra prep here so that we can do like a nice, nice comparison between new and old, because it's worth comparing the two. To be honest, that to me is a pretty faithful reinterpretation. They've not gone too far astray from the original design. They've kept a lot of like a lot of the big signifiers for him. He's got his thurible there. He's got the little uh, the little like sword wrapped with the skull on the chain around the waist. They've kept that as well. Like all his like unique iconography has stayed, and in fact, a lot of it has stayed in roughly the same position. It's not like it's been a complete redesign of the model. It's just, it's just like a, a nice visual update, bringing them up to like Primaris sort of size and stat line, obviously. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's a pretty good reimagining, to be honest. There's some extra detail on the new one that is kind of, uh, kind of missing a little bit from the old. Things like there being extra purity seals coming off where the candles are. That's a nice touch. That adds a little extra something compared to the older one there. You can see the symbol on the knee pad has changed over. It switched from left knee to right knee. Just a little change, but it does make it more prominent on this model because of the pose that they've chosen. There is a specific enemy on the base. We do have an orc on the base. Um, he is also standing on a rock, but the, the the orc has fallen next to the rock, and he's also standing on the orc. So you know what? I'm going to give the rock a pass. There's an orc to stand on as well, and he has got a foot up there. I'm not generally a big fan of having a specific... Um, model from another army on a base as like a trophy or, or like some sort of slain enemy just because it can sometimes seem out of place when you're fighting other armies you know if you've got one specific dude on your base and you're not fighting an army that contains that specific dude it can sometimes just I don't know for me it can sometimes take me out of it a little bit but in the case of in the case of this like with with it being an orc I don't know I feel like I feel like that gets a pass. That gets a pass for me. It is supremely appropriate, and it is a nice little detail. I love, I have to say, I love the, the attendants that he's got with him, right? So, at first I was like, wait, are those just are those just space marines that have been... No, I think they're more servitors, aren't they? Serv bulky servitors. But it was the little port on one of the arms that got me, just for a second. I was like, huh, is that... I don't think it is. But I love the detail of one of them cleaning the sword. Cleaning the sword whilst it's still in the chest of the orc. Now that, that is a lad who likes his stuff clean. Even though the sword is still getting bloody, even though it's still buried in the in the chest of the enemy, you've got to keep that blade nice and shiny, spick and span. You've got to make sure it's really gleaming in the uh, in the light of a thousand bolters firing. And it really looks like the other one is struggling with that combi melter behind him. <laughs> You're just trying to lift it and failing miserably. I don't know. We'd need to spin the model around to see uh, to see exactly what's going on there. Overall, though, overall, I like this. I like it. I like it, I think, mainly because it is a fairly faithful recreation. It is just an update. This isn't a bad-looking model. I would suggest that this hasn't aged too terribly. It's maybe a bit chunky in weird places. The Like, the sheer span of the shoulders is a bit... It's a bit much. The head feels a little too big for the body, at least a bit too big for the legs, but it does suit the rest of it. There's a few just proportions issues, and it's not as cr not quite, not quite as crisp as perhaps it could be, but then again, it's a much older model. This is a fine cast model, so, you know, it's to be expected that it would be showing its age a little bit. This is a pretty solid recreation of it. I feel like the overall scaling is better. I mean, of course it's better, it's a Primaris. But, like, just the general proportions are that much better on this version. And it is pretty faithful. Yeah, we've lost we've lost that kind of interesting kind of uh, sensor thing going on with the power pack on the back there where the vents are different. 
But on the other hand, on the other hand, we've still got the skull, we've still got the candles and the holders. We've got a couple of purity seals attached to those now, which is nice. The overall kind of composition of it, like the 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 feel of it, is not that different as well. It's not that different. And I will say having the combi melter detached on the new version. So on the old version here, we've got we've got it like slung so that it's it's like next to him and he's walking with it. There's already a lot going on, and that just adds a bit extra. Having it on the ground on this one, I actually prefer that quite a lot. I think that cleans up the silhouette quite a bit. And it kind of needs to be a bit cleaner because of just how much there is going on with this particular model. I mean, it's like a miniature, it's like a little diorama, isn't it? So I think having that makes it just that just that bit cleaner and a bit easier to make out detail on. I like it. I like it. I think that's a solid primary suffocation of a, of a, of a much-loved character. So yeah, it's based off this piece of artwork as well, which is, I think they've done a good job kind of reimagining it. It, it looks it looks good. They've been pretty faithful to that. Slimmed it down to two attendants instead of three. The orc is a bit more plain. There's not as much going on. I think actually I would have preferred the, the orc to have a bit more in, in the way of metal work on the head and maybe have a a power claw or something, just just to jazz the orc up a little bit, make him seem more of like a more of a, like a challenge, like a standard orc boy. I just don't see an orc boy posing a significant threat to Halbrecht. It being something like that, that does pose a bit more of a threat. So it would kind of be nice to have had the orc be a bit more, a bit chunky, a bit beefier. But you know what? I suppose if you've got some orcs, <laughs> you can always stick your own bits on there if you really wanted to. But yeah, that's uh, that's. That's decent. It's a good copy of the artwork, but it still retains a lot of the features from the original the original model there. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. So we should have a bit more detail down here as well. Comes with a choice of three heads. Oh, interesting. A, a choice of three heads. One helmeted and two bare. So you can customise them to suit your preferred level of zeal. Okay. He also lost a hand fighting Imitate the Stormlord since he last got a model. I need to, I clearly need to catch up on my Black Templars lore, don't I? A nugget of lore that's been faithfully represented on his new miniature. You know, I didn't even twig that that was a, a, a bionic hand as opposed to being just a glove. I didn't even, didn't even notice. Huh. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty obvious now, you, now you've, uh, <laughs> now you've pointed it out. Oh dear. My uh, ability to see small detail is apparently just vanishing, just disappearing. It happens. I like the helmet. Oh, I like that helmet. I don't think anyone's going to use it. I think everyone's going to go for the bare head because, yeah, the last mini had a bare head and that is just what I think a lot of people will see from it. But you know what? I like that helmet. That's cool. Yeah, having the servitor lifting that combi melter, that's cool. It's got a name, hasn't it? What's it called? Ferocity. I mean, that's a bit generic. <laughs> it's a bit generic. It's no wonder I didn't remember that. Oh, man. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. And that's a nice a nice picture at the end there. Very nicely, yeah. Very nicely integrated into that bit of scenery. Nicely done. So, uh, the mighty High Marshal of the Black Templars will be available soon, as will the Black Templars army set. What do you reckon? Coming out together, or army, army box, and then, and then High Marshal? I mean, if they put them out at the same time, I reckon a lot of people would just pick up both straight off the bat. And also, if you put them out at the same time, then the people who queue up for the army box but can't get it can console themselves by getting the high marshal early. Which, I mean, that's that's what I'd do. <laughs> that's absolutely what I'd do. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to see, we'll have to see what happens. But yeah, I think that's I think that's a pretty good update of this of this model. I think they've done a good job with it. Maintains all of the atmosphere, a lot of the kind of a lot of the attitude, a lot of the presence. It's just Better proportioned, better scaled. There's a bit more, a bit more in the way of cool, uh, cool detail here and there. Kind of made it a bit more significant. It being like a little diorama instead of a single model. Yeah, that is a solid, a solid update for Hellbrecht in my opinion. Let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. I'd imagine a lot of you'll be happy with it. Let me know what you think. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things: Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like. Don't click if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Outlink Games, which you can use to support the channel if you would like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.